Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making this really cute little cake slice granny square as the next part of our Big Shot Blanket series. So I'm going to be starting with an H Violet 5mm hook and some Baby Pink Vanna's Choice uh, Lion Brand yarn. And go ahead and start with a slip knot. I'm choosing to do like a strawberry cake with chocolate frosting. Um, but you can do any colors here. So you're going to start with a chain of 13 and then after you've chained 13 go ahead and double crochet in the second chain from your hook and then just go ahead and keep double crocheting all the way down the line. So you should have a line of double crochets here. Here we are finishing row one with double crochets all the way down the line. Go ahead and chain two. That's how it should be looking and turn and then we're just going to keep doing this double crochet in the first stitch and then in each stitch down and you're going to repeat this for a total of six rows of double crochets. So here we are finishing row six. After we've finished row six we're going to just chain one, don't chain two. So here I am chaining one and then we're going to be working down the side of this um, little rectangle and just work some single crochets all the way down that left side of the rectangle. So we're just kind of finishing off this one edge. Our other edge is going to uh, have some other stitches on it. So I just wanted to finish off this one edge and make it nice and clean looking. So you can go ahead and finish off that pink yarn and weave in your ends. Now I'm taking a chocolate brown yarn and joining that yarn to the work in that same corner that I just left off with the single crochets in the baby pink. And we're going to start with a chain one and three single crochets. So here we are, we chained one and there are our first three single crochets. Now we're going to do some half double crochets. There's one, two, and three three half double crochets. Now we're going to be working some double crochets. So there is one and two, just two double crochets here. We can see how it should be looking. We want to be getting taller as we go, so that's why our stitches are changing. Here we're going to work three triple crochets. If you're unfamiliar with any of these stitches, please check out my uh, Crochet Beginner series. There are individual videos for each of these types of stitches. So there's the second triple crochet and the third one should be in that last stitch of the row. It should be right in the corner. After we've done that third triple crochet, still working in the same stitch, you can see how much taller that's gotten. In the same stitch in that corner, we're going to work a double crochet. So we already have a triple, we're going to work a double and then we're going to work a half double crochet all in the same stitch so it's going to create a nice rounded edge there that you can see and then working down the other side of your rectangle just go ahead and single crochet all the way down that side so after you've single crocheted all the way down go ahead and chain one and turn and then single crochet back up the way you came coming back up to that corner where we did uh, the cluster of different stitches so just kind of making a nice thick side um, that we'll be stitching into in a moment. And once you get back up to the corner, you can just go ahead and slip stitch it together. Um, once you get back up to those corner stitches and finish off. Now you're done with that chocolate brown color, so you can weave in those ends. And now at this point you want to take some white yarn. You only need a little bit here. We're just going to create a little icing line in the middle of the cake. So I just chained uh, about 12 or 13 just to make it fit across that pink uh, rectangle and then you can just finish off just start with a slip knot chain 12 and then go ahead and finish off your yarn leaving a long tail for sewing this little line of chains onto your cake slice so just thread a tapestry needle here and kind of lay it on right about halfway um, up your pink rectangle and you're just going to sew this in place. I just kind of sewed back and forth along our uh, line of chain stitches and then you can just go ahead and weave in those ends. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the um, granny square stitches. This is going to follow the same pattern 
that we've done with all of the Bake Shop Blanket Series squares. So if you've done any of the other squares, go ahead and proceed as usual. We're just going to take our granny square color um, that you're using for your granny square stitches. I'm using a mint green here. And you're just going to follow the same process as we have with all of the other Bake Shop Blanket squares. So you're going to, you know, get your yarn started in one corner and do a corner cluster and then side cluster, corner cluster, proceeding around. Um, here we are working the first side cluster. If you have any questions about stitching this um, granny square portion, go back and watch one of the earlier Bake Shop Blanket series videos. Or the most helpful one is going to be the traditional um, granny square video that is also on the Bake Shop Blanket series playlist. I made that traditional granny square as kind of a filler square for the blanket. There's going to be a lot of those in the finished product and it's uh, sized to match all of the other Bake Shop Blanket series squares and it goes over you know how to do these corner clusters and side clusters. Um, as always you're going to do three rounds of the granny square stitches for this cake slice square um, and once you have those three rounds done you can go ahead and finish off that yarn and all we have left to do um, for this square just to kind of finish and accent a little bit is I'm going to crochet a little cherry for on top of the frosting. So here we are with the first round done. Go ahead and do the second and third rounds of those granny square stitches. We can see how this is looking. You can leave it just like that or I'm going to take a small amount of a crimson red yarn and just start with a magic ring taking my H 5 millimeter hook magic ring I'm just gonna chain one and then I'm just gonna work six single crochets into this magic ring so after I've done those six single crochets that's kind of it you're just gonna slip knot um, or I'm sorry slip stitch to join and that is the same cherry pattern that I used on the ice cream and on the cupcake um, kind of standard uh, for what I'm doing for this series. So here we are with six single crochets. Go ahead and slip stitch it closed. And you want to leave a long-ish tail for sewing. Don't cut the tail too short, but since this is such a tiny little piece you're sewing on, you don't need a real long tail. So just go ahead and thread a tapestry needle and you can weave in one of your ends and then use the other to sew it onto the cake slice. You could also um, add a cherry on or sprinkles or something with beads or buttons or you could leave it off altogether. Um, if you wanted to make a whole blanket of these cake slices, say for a birthday um, blanket or something like that, you could definitely do different flavors. You could do, you know, yellow or white for vanilla cake and chocolate frosting and, you know, on and on and on. The possibilities are really endless here. So here I am just sewing that cherry on and then once you've sewn your cherry on, you are all done with this cake slice granny square. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this little cake slice and I will see you next Friday for the next Bake Shop Blanket Series Square.